I don't know where to begin Could be the curves on your body, but then Could be your hair, maybe your skin Yeah, uh-huh. Baby girl, I'm trying to get with you Come let me see what we get into It don't even gotta be physical As long as that pretty face visible Yeah I just up off the shower, working from home, just made myself a delicious matcha latte, vanilla matcha, tastes so good. So let me just hop right into the major life updates, major. First things first, I don't know if you noticed, but this was not the initial color of my hair. <laughs> yes, your eyes are not deceiving you, you are well. I colored my hair, I have some deep conditioner in it dripping out now, but as y'all could see, we went like, I call it cinnamon copperish, like with the color tone. The initial intent was to just lighten the base. So I do have like a goal in terms of where I want my hair color to be. But when I was talking to my hairstylist, I used the same hairstylist that I used two years ago, Shayna, um, at Hairspray. She was saying like, it's good to lighten the base so that when I do do my highlights and stuff like that, it'll just pop even more, which is what I want. So... I went ahead, I always wanted to dye my head like fully brown, which is crazy. So for this to be the base and for this to be like the stepping stone to what I initially wanted, I am grateful and I am content. So yeah, hair color change. I'll pop up the little reel. I think I also posted it as a YouTube short. So I'll link it down below as well if you want to see like the full transformation. But I am officially now adjusted to the fact that I'm a little brown head brunette gal and I love it. So, I think it's right in time for summer. Perfect for, you know, boat season, beach season, just vibes. I really like my hair color, to be honest. It took a while for me to adjust. Now I'm fully adjusted. Just did my first wash day, and I'm having a really good time. Speaking of wash day, I emptied out all of my natural hair, like, reserve. I don't have any deep conditioner. I don't have any twisting to place that I enjoy, these things. So, I'm going to hop on Target sometime today and see if I can order some natural hair stuff maybe i'll show you guys what i order or maybe we'll just wait until the target shipment comes in and then we'll go through that together other really fun updates um i ran out of nespresso pods right so yeah usually i do a coffee cleanse where i just stop drinking coffee for like three days just to reset my caffeine levels i feel like coffees on caffeine is one of those things where like you can gradually gradually um take more into your body without you consciously knowing so like one second you're drinking one coffee a day and then now you're on like two or three cups and you're trying to figure out why it's probably because your body's already adjusted to that one coffee a day caffeine level so on top of saving money i decided i'm going to switch to like matcha and green tea just for this month of april um just to see maybe if it helps my skin maybe if it just you know helps me to just reset my caffeine levels matcha has a lot less without that whole huge coffee crash thing that happens so that's where we're heading into this lovely month okay so that's it in terms of like what i wanted to update you guys on um i'll just keep the vlog rolling y'all know how we do just popping in when i want to share some stuff popping in when i want to like do things we're supposed to get our nails done on wednesday which is exciting and then also i need to now call the car dealership my car needs to be serviced um drastically i'm way over the limit so i'm gonna try to service my car this week just 
follow me as we do the things that we're supposed to do. I'll be so proud of me. I've been working my claw clips and I've been enjoying them. I have figured out, you know, the little curly girl hack on how to make it look like a lot of hair. But I'm trying to challenge myself that now that my hair is actually like a color that I like and that I'm like happy with. Like just doing more styles. I think I'm just going to do like a tweed out. It's just like a braid twist out type of thing. So I think I'm just going to do that. Um, which is also crazy. I have a wedding this week. So I have a wedding on Saturday. So I need to figure out what I'm wearing for that wedding. I've decided not to buy any more wedding dresses. There has to be a season in my life where it's okay to repeat. And this is that season. So I have like at least like eight wedding dresses in that closet. I just need to figure out which one I want to wear type of thing. I'm also trying to work out Monday to Friday, which is going to be fun. So let's see if we can do that as well. But just wanted to welcome you guys to this vlog. Let y'all know y'all ain't losing your mind. The hair color is different let me know if y'all like it i'll definitely show y'all more of like what i do to it and maybe some of the new natural hair products that i buy not that i'm a natural hair girl but you know just welcoming the vibes <laughs> what's good it is tuesday i'm feeling very Antisocial today. I'm working from home. I did intend to go into the office, but so the circumstances beyond my control, aka my feelings. I just didn't ask. You know, like some days where you just like I don't desire the social interaction, especially when like you're coming off like a fun filled weekend, hanging out with friends, doing things, and then like to go to the office, it just seems like a bit much right now. So I've been working all morning. I'm trying to finish off two reports before I go to the gym. Oh my god, I don't have no space on this memory card. One second. Okay, we back and we better. Two things I wanted to show y'all. So these are my little tweed out. As y'all can see, you start off as a braid and then you end up twisting it. Now can we talk about the fact that my bottom twist, like what is going on there? I don't know. But I can't always, like sometimes the fat, like the ends of my hair are just like, they don't want curled and I don't pressure them. Anyway, today's lunch hour is brought to you by Ree's Famous Guacamole. Get into it. Yes, ma'am. Yep. See that? High quality guac. I couldn't, there was no cilantro. I checked two grocery stores, no cilantro. I was ready to call the police. And for me personally, I'm trying to understand who used all the cilantro in the grocery store that there would be none for others. That's strange. But anyway, and then not invite me. I didn't get an invite. I haven't. So for lunch, we're having guac and chips. <laughs> and I just don't need no judgment. I'm about to slap these up and enjoy my lunch break. But I go back into this work session. And then after work, I think we're going to hit the gym. But yesterday was really chill. Um, I will tell y'all, I, I didn't vlog it, but I actually went on a walk yesterday with Papa. We got stuck up in the rain, so that was a whole situation, and it started to, like, pour on us. So we started to, like, run towards the car. It was a whole thing. I'm actually happy I didn't capture that moment, because what a mess. But <laughs> that's what we got into yesterday. I'm trying to work out. I told y'all I'm trying to work out once a day. So today is going to be boot camp at the gym. So I'm excited to move my body. Let's do a taste test. Let's see if I got it without the cilantro. You have to use red onion if you're doing guacamole. It elevates it. These are the things that they don't tell you, but you have to do. Delicious. Mmm. Oh, yes. I'm just so happy. In this moment, I have joy. Let's set this up. These are the things that keep me together. I love avocado. Mm. One of my active, active goals in this year is to heal my relationship with food. I would just like to announce that we have a salad. Ah! I made it myself. Ah! It's like a Greek salad without the tomatoes and the olives. So it's like cucumber, a spinach, Greek dressing. I put a sploosh, a sploosh of feta because I personally don't. Th I personally think you need feta for Greek salad. Come on. 
come on now nutrients filling my body naturally I love that we're saluting up this spring this summer we're solid girls did you not get the email I don't know I don't know what to tell you I'm so proud of myself I forgot how good vegetables were <laughs> happy hump day what do we think about the hair i got compliments on it i feel so nice and gingery so i like it like in the sun as y'all could see it's like giving definitely more orange so that's something i definitely want to correct i'm thinking about still doing the highlights but this is a good first step and then for me personally always wanting to be this shade the camera makes it look very orange i feel like in real person like if you were to look at me in real life my hair is actually like brown it's just that in the sun tint and the cameras, it's giving that nice tint. All right, so it's hump day. Happy hump day. We're on my way running errands. We have to get these nails fixed. They have lasted us long, but as you can see, they're overgrown. And it's time to say goodbye. Now, as y'all know, we have those weddings coming up. So I'm thinking about doing something a little glitz, a little glam, nothing crazy, just something with a little flavor, just a little sparkle, just a little tinkle. So I'll show y'all how it looks. Um, but yeah, let's go get our nails done. I also have to, there was something I wanted to tell y'all. So family, we do have another life update. I switched from waxing to sugaring. I got a sugar, I had my first sugaring appointment last month in March and I really liked it and it was less painful. The results were really cleaner in my opinion, less ingrowns and I really enjoyed it. And the person who did it, like the company that did it, um, Hey Sugar, it was very good. So I booked another appointment and in the evenings too, it's just closer to me so it's just a convenience thing as well. So I switched from waxing to sugaring and I'm on my round two and I'm very much excited for it. So I have that this evening as well. Today is just get errands done today. I also have to do something for the property. I need to show you guys um, and just update you guys a little bit on what's happening with the property. So I'll see if I can do that as well. But we're just running errands today. It's a hump day. It's a busy one. And we're just ready to get through the day. Cheers! I feel like I look so different um, when I go in the office versus when like y'all see me at home bummed down. But see me, y'all. <laughs> put them in the light so y'all could see them can y'all see oh i think y'all could see a little bit y'all could see the little glitz a little glam let me put your little hair oh yeah y'all can see it now y'all see it oh y'all see it y'all see the glitz y'all see the glam it's like little speckles at the end i think it looks so minimal and adorable ah and because we're self-caring i got my nails done too so we're just winning win 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 that's the goal today so i got some new toes new nails i am all ready just to succeed and to win in my day i don't know about you it's let peppa happy birthday bones it's also peppa's birthday Woo! one two three happy birthday to you da, da, da. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. We love you. We do. 
Thank we you, love you. Thank you, Peppa. We do. Da, 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 da. We love you, <laughs> dear yeah, Peppa. Peppa. Happy birthday to you. Yeah, that's your cake, take it off Let me take it off God is good to you. Yeah, but what is your cake? Yeah, girl. Get that. Destroying this cake. I feel like y'all have been good to me. Hi, it's Thursday. Happy Thursday. Oh, the hair is like every time I make um vlog I'm like oh, I forget my color my hair it's the craziest thing but we are in route I'm going to work again today we're in, we're in office again I'm proud of me and then I did not do any of my property stuff yesterday so I'm about to go do that right now stop to the bank stop to the appraiser do all of the things that help this property to roll oh my gosh y'all life is crazy but that's okay because I have good news. Are you ready? We're brunching with the girls on Sunday. Woody woo. So I'm excited. <laughs> I just want to have brunch. I don't know what to tell you. I could use a mimosa. I could use that vibe right now in this life. And food. Hopefully the food is good. We're going to this place I've actually never been called Mazza Girl. But it's been around for years. So it should be fun. But yeah, just checking in. Happy Thursday. Nothing exciting today, but I have to get a lot of work done. So I'll just pop in and out. As you guys saw, we went to bar this morning. So we're feeling good. We're in our fit girl era. Y'all, if I work out tomorrow, which I will, because I'm consistent. Come on, speaking in existence. If, well, this camera is just so shaky. These rules are ridiculous. Okay, breathe. Get it together. So if I work out tomorrow morning, you best believe it. That makes five days straight of exercise of movement and i love that for me i absolutely love that for me and i still might go to do yoga on saturday just to namaste it out so that's really six days six days come on now woody woo <laughs> no i'm annoying but yeah just trying to get back to routines to moving my body consistently and all the good things that we need as we enter summer my favorite season is always going to be fall but summer is right behind it because summer is just vibes be beaches boats everything fun flights summer is just that girl and not much we could do about it but happy thursday yay i'm gonna talk to her about it right now all right Drive me crazy. Um, if you guys are new to my channel, I fainted two, twice, three times in September. The evening takes us to tired <laughs> and sleepy I could use some coffee and some rest but we're rolling um I went to spin this morning so you know what that means we did it five days consistently back to back we worked out I was looking at me with pride and joy I love that um but not gonna lie y'all it was tiring and definitely um this was a hard goal to set but i'm glad i did it this girl's just coming out of her birthday hi love yeah all right god has been good to you god has been so good i was updating my um i don't know why i do like movement trackers so i was updating my movement tracker and then i was also updating just spending some time like doing small things like this morning, I updated my self-care wall. And I spoke about it in my April reset. So basically, I've been challenging myself 
to just write down moments where I feel like I am experiencing some version or some form of self-care. So for me, um, I put that I bought like new things. <laughs> Don't touch me. But I want new hair products um, from Target. I'll see if um, I can maybe show you all that in this video. If not, I'll show you guys in the next video. But I bought new hair products from Target. I also got some things in the Sephora sale that I'm just so excited for. I got my nails done. Bling, bling, blah. I got my toes done. So I'm feeling really cutesy. And then I did a wash day. Um, and my hair, I think, came out pretty good from the wash day. So for me, that wash day was honestly a form of self-care because I needed to, like, start pouring back into my hair. Um, uh, another self-care moment for me was that I needed to remind myself that working out consistently is self-care. Like, my body um, actually taking care of it, moving every day for at least 30 minutes, and that is self-care. And then last but not least, I bought myself kombucha. I had some last night, I think I showed y'all. And then also, just being able to, like, buy myself dinner and lunch. Um, I think we had, again, yeah, like, Singapore noodles for dinner one day. And then I bought myself lunch on my way to work yesterday. I got myself a little Greek salad. So, uh, you want to see that? That's exhaustion. But, yeah, we did good this week in terms of taking care of ourselves. I just need more sleep. But what could you do? I woke up 5 a.m. and it's already, like, 8. So I need to start to get ready for work. Um, and then I also might need to get a cup of coffee. I think that's it. I think because I am like, this is the struggle I'm having. I don't know if really, I have no problem waking up 5 a.m., right? Let's get it. Let's grind. 5 a.m., I can do that. Sure. Cutting out coffee and waking up at 5 a.m., I'm struggling. Because by 9 a.m., my body is like, hey, babes, tired. <laughs> and I don't know what to do with that. So I was trying to do this thing where I just do like matches and green tea, but my ma like my for some reason the caffeine the low caffeine content it has me triggered and I legit about to freak out and just walk at a narrow Starbucks and be like let me run a latte please because it's honestly like not working out. So this is something that I need to consider. Also, really random what I wanted to tell y'all. Y'all could see, like, I just dyed my hair two weeks ago. Can anybody see that the black is already coming back? What's the point of dyeing my hair if my hair's not going to respect me? My hair already growing out. Like, it's so crazy. I could already see the darkness coming. So, I need to figure that out. But I've honestly been getting so many compliments on my hair color that I really... I, I, I apologize. That wasn't even called for. Y'all don't deserve that. You know what? Let's get started on our day. I think I need like a margarita. I think I need a happy hour. <laughs> Something is wrong with me. <laughs> I'm like the worst version of an adult. Like, you know what I can use? A happy hour. Life is be like that. I don't know. Okay, let me log in. I get started with my day and find some coffee. I can't do this. I can't live this life. This life is ghetto. I don't want to do this. I don't be here. I don't be here tired like this. The girls that don't drink coffee, I am impressed at how your body is able to function. Because I could need that little thing. Okay, so picture it. <laughs> I get a call from work being like, hey. You need to come to office. I'm like, what are you talking about? I don't need to come to office. There's no need for me to be there. I'm working from home. They said, oh no, you need to come because there's something that was dropped off to you at reception. And the receptionist said it cannot stay over the weekend. So obviously, I'm like, okay, bet. Maybe someone dropped me off some money. So I put on, you know, decent clothes. I was, with my, I was in my work from home set. I put on decent clothes. Went to the office, went to reception, and I saw this beautiful bouquet of flowers for me. How freaking sweet. And it's from this lady that I helped. I just helped her with um, some, like, tax or like, just, like, accounting advice. I literally just gave her free accounting advice. And she, 
she dropped off flowers to my work for me and I don't get a lot of flowers so it went straight to my head and I'm just like and I was telling everybody at work I was like real flowers honestly like they make the glade for breeze smell like crap like every single time I'm sorry if y'all shaking okay yeah I was just telling everybody at work like these flowers smell so good I'm just so honored I'm just so honored like honestly I, I'm tearing up at the thought. So I got flowers today at work. How random and how perfect. Thanks. Joy. <laughs> Just joy and happiness. In case you weren't sure what I'm experiencing, it's joy and happiness. So I got my beautiful flowers. I'm going to put these on the floor. Just came back from the courier. We got packages. So I figured let's just do it now. Unbox them. Oh, yay. My new Yiddy is here! Oh, we love, we stand, and we support, always. If you do not know, I'm a Yiddy ambassador, and I'm just so excited, and I love working with Yiddy. Honestly, the team is amazing, the brand is amazing, and the fit is godly. So, let's see what I am working with this month. So, I got the, oh, yay, I got another set. I got the Major Label Smoothing Cross set. So it comes with top and bottom. And I got it in black. And y'all know black is my color. So I already have the white in this. So I'm really excited to have the black. Oh, this looks so freaking good. The white I have worn several times already. And I literally just got it a few months ago. I love the white. So to have the black, I'm happy. I'm joyous. I get an XL just in case for reference. I just get XLs in all that sets. But... This one is so stinking cute. I can't wait to rock this. Is this not me to the T? Oh my gosh, I love this. So this is the the major label shaping highway short. So y'all can imagine this with this, and maybe we throw on like you know, just a little boyfriend shirt. Vibes. That is a vibe. So. Oh, and I'm going to show y'all the cutest part. Um, Right here in the front, you have your little yitty. So you have it on the band, and then you have it right there as well. So I absolutely cannot wait to wear those. And definitely follow my IG, at Life of VHC. That's normally where I post the yitty pics when they drop. So, yeah. Can't wait to wear a new yitty. The next package we got is from my very own USPS Priority Mail. Um, So basically... I'd say a month or two ago oh yeah no I would say basically back in March for International Women's Day I entered a giveaway with Baskin Bloom they were um gifting somebody specialty boxes um just to celebrate Women's Day and just to you know give back and I won so this is our I guess giveaway prize I have no idea what's in it but I know it could not be more timely also in case you don't know I have worked with Baskin Bloom before. I was a Baskin Bloom ambassador, I believe, back in 2021. Absolutely amazing, amazing hair products. Simply one of the best when it comes to hair care products. If you haven't tried Baskin Bloom Essentials, your hair, your natural hair is missing out. I think your relaxed hair is missing out too. And I saw the girls with locks wearing them. I mean, using them. So I think Baskin Bloom Essentials unbiasedly is one of the best natural hair lines our natural care products that we have in this world that's just my pure honest opinion i will always support their products i will always support their brand because i mean not only did they choose to work with me but honestly the products speak for themselves every product that's touched my hair has been golden has given me life everything i will stand by the herbal cleanser i've used that that's what i use for all of my wash days also the brahmi mask the brahmi deep conditioning mask is my favorite mask hands down the ease leaving y'all see how i like rolling it off right like that's how hard i ride for the products so when i got the opportunity to re-up don't play with me play with someone else find somebody else to play your games i won't do it <laughs> i'm getting these products so let's see what's inside real quick yay oh i love it so here's my uh, specialty box. 
Yay! I'm so excited. Let's see what's inside. Oh my gosh, y'all. I have chills. I have chills. I have chills. So, let's see what's inside. <gasps> Yay! The two-in-one pre-poo and deep conditioner. Can y'all see? Let me see if the lighting will... Come on, lighting. Light up. Okay, yeah, y'all can see that. Softens and restores. I heard very good things about this. Oh my gosh, to have a two-in-one? I'm so excited. I love a good pre and I love a good deep conditioner. The more moisture cream. I haven't tried this yet, but I've heard very good things. I'm excited to try that. Yay! And then we got a travel size. How perfect for me. A travel size of the herbal infused um, hair and scalp oil. This on my braids and my protective styles and my natural hair. I'm excited. Then we got a travel size of the twirly hair gel. I actually have this at home um, and I've used this. So the twirly hair gel. And we have, whoa, everything's falling apart. And lastly, we have the Super Bloom Conditioning Bar. And this has fenugreek and shikakai. I love Baskin Bloom because um, they actually use Ayurvedic ingredients. But they do it at a level for me that like, surpasses anything I could do in my kitchen. So, everything has Ayurvedic ingredients. Oh my gosh. Last but not least, babes, we got a satin scrunchie. How stinking cute. And we got a claw clip. I have chills. I have genuine chills. So thank you, thank you, thank you to Baskin Bloom. Honestly, I am um, obsessed and I cannot wait to try these products. A conditioning bar. You can imagine what a game change that could do to my hair. So I need to figure out how to use these products, what I'm going to do, my styles, all that good stuff. I am cheesing. So yeah, I'm having a wonderful Friday. I don't know about you. But it's the weekend and we litty already. It's Friday afternoon and I'm already having a bomb weekend. Write that down, please. to the reception should I tan my eyebrows brown to match my hair that'd be cute thanks Steve And now, to you, DJ. DJ. Look at this one. Long in addition, and the brand is Some people say it's even harder to find. Oh, this is the best show. Well, there will be somebody cool inside each other. I'm going on to pass it on. Pass it on. Pass it on. I'll shout it from the mountain top. Praise God. To the way it used to Sunday. I did good today. Let me explain why. 
I just finished editing the drama vlog. So I'll go up today, which I'm super excited for. Back to the Sunday uploads. We love it. Now, I'm about to go rush, get ready, because I have to go to brunch in like 30 minutes. No pressure. So I'm just going to hurry up, get ready, and then brunch with the girls, and then... Let's see what else we can get into today, but honestly, I need to rest because yesterday was so packed. Spent all day celebrating love and union and marriage. So today we rest because we deserve. Welcome. We are finally in route. Much at stake. What would you give up? To change your fate, luck is it made for call your fate Put a face down, but you're not down for me Hey girl, hey, well, so everybody's ready What's up y'all, um Our last big to do For this Sunday Is to take these Yeti pictures Let me cover the goods I have all my Yeti fit so we're about to go take pictures now i find that if my brother is free it's way easier to get him to take pictures plus the quality of the pictures are so much better um so he just flew in from harbor island and i was able to convince him to help me take these pictures which i'm so grateful for i'll definitely buy the guy you know something nice just to say thanks but we have the good boy in hand the cannon now he uses this old cannon but it gets the job done and honestly the pictures are really good so normally my brother would take like my any sort of brand campaigns or anything regarding pictures because he's he has a photography eye and then i'm pretty good at editing so normally i edit all of my photos he doesn't edit them anymore but this um situation we're trying to catch the golden hour for yeti but I really need to take like updated brown photos and stuff. Y'all look out for like a refresh. Like I really want to refresh my channel. Just get like a new profile picture with my new hair color. You know, just give everything a little bit of a zhuzh. Maybe change some of the, the way I do my thumbnails. Maybe switch it up. I don't know. I just know I want to switch things up. And I want to just refresh my brand so that it looks more like me versus like and like the current me versus an older version of myself you get me so i feel like as i evolve what i should be doing or what i'm doing should evolve as well so hopefully we can catch some good pictures before the sun goes down and then um i think i just need to eat relax i need to take off this makeup and just see if i can enjoy my sunday night i'll be honest this like, this week has been crazy, but also really good and really productive for me. But at the same time, I, I could use some rest. So, I need to figure out if I'm going to the gym tomorrow, if I'm going to sleep in, or, and just catch myself for a bit. So, these are the things that I toggle with in my mind as I go through life. But, yeah. We're rolling! Yeah, 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 yeah. 